Hi guys, this is Tavia Sobi, and today, today, well, are you the kind of person who wants to make your life harder? You know, the kind of person who goes, man, this T-Rex monster is a bit of a pain, but I want it to be even more painful. Like, make my ears bleed painful. Then Brute T-Rex is the perfect monster for you. Just think of it as a regular T-Rex, except angrier, louder. Basically, just imagine Gilbert Gottfried with the temper of Pete John McEnroe. Do kids these days even know who John McEnroe is? <laughs> I'm sure there's footage of angry John McEnroe floating around the YouTubes. <laughs> but I digress. So how do you get to meet this wonderful bundle of joy, Brute Tigrex? As I mentioned in a couple of previous videos, Brute Tigrex is one of several monsters you unlock via the Guiding Lands in Monster Hunter World Iceport. Like Zidogre, however, who's one of the monsters that you unlock in the Endgame Island, Brute Tigrex takes a bit more time. Basically, you will need to reach Master Rank 69, which unlocks the level 6 cap for the various regions in the Guiding Lands. In the case of Brute Tigrex, you will need to make the Rotted Region reach level 6 in order to make this particular monster appear. All I can say is, better equip the Clear Mind Charm and also have an armor set with max effluvial resistance. It's honestly the most painful region to level up in the Guiding Lands. By the way, one of the fastest ways that we found as far as leveling up regions is to hunt monsters that are exclusive to that one region and don't show up anywhere else. So at lower levels, you can start out with Great Gyros, and then after that, Odogarin will start showing up, followed by Acidic Glavinus. Once you reach level 5 for the Rotted region, Black Veil Valhazak will start showing up more frequently, and hunting that monster really makes the region level up quickly. The best part is that like regular Valhazak, Black Bale actually isn't too bad, as long as you have a Clear Mind Charm and Effluvial Resistance in your set. Another thing that works well is if you hunt consecutive monsters from the Rotted Veil, one after the other. Once in a while you'll get lucky and they'll just keep spawning. So there were times when I'd do, say, a Glavinus followed by a Tigrex and then an Odogaran right one after the other. And I'm not sure if there's a multiplier, but it made my level up bar go up really fast. Anyway, once you've got the Rotted Region to level 6, you can go back to Celiana and just wait for Brute Tigrex to show up on the quest board's Guiding Land section, and that will be as a mystery monster with several question marks. Otherwise, you also should be able to just collect tracks and fight rotted region monsters in the Guiding Lands, and doing that should give you a chance to get the monster's investigation as well, which is what happened to me with Scarred Garuga. Otherwise, the easiest option is the first one, just keep doing missions, and then keep checking back on your Guiding Lands, then eventually Brute Tigrex should show up. At least that's what our experience has been so far, when it comes to unlocking these Guiding Lands monsters. Anyway, here is footage from my first ever Brute T-Rex hunt. Hopefully, this will give you an idea about how the monster fights.
Now, once you beat Brute Tigrex for the first time, you will unlock a new arena mission that lets you fight a regular Tigrex and a Brute Tigrex. Yep, that sounds like the perfect activity for a Friday night date. <laughs> of course, another reward from beating Brute Tigrex is that its armor will finally show up in the smithy. Now, besides the higher defense, the main difference between the Brute armor versus regular Tigrex armor is that you give up earplugs and speed eating in exchange for health boost, recovery up, weakness exploit, agitator, and a higher attack boost. The set bonus, meanwhile, remains the same, so that would be Tigrex Essence, which allows you to break the level 1 cap for a free meal and get it all the way up to level 3 for a 75% chance of consuming an item you use for free without using it up. Here's a closer look at the armor set. Here's a closer look at the armor set. So I was planning to shove its weapons as well, but I'm still missing materials for the final version, so it's only showing up as question marks. As such, I'll just wait until I reach Master Rank 99. I'm actually at Master Rank 91 as of the making of this video. So I'm actually almost there. Oh, just a little bit more. <laughs> it's the final stretch. In the meantime, please feel free to check out my other Iceborne videos, including one I made showing all male armors through Master Rank 99. As always, leave any thoughts or questions you may have in the comment section. Once again, this is Tabia Sobi, and thank you for watching.